Yeah, man, once you're confident yourself from the beginning, man, you're the winner from get go. Yeah. So we give thanks to that little clip there. Yeah. More of a large up everyone we are take the time out today for um day I would be on the program. Um it's now what? It's now thirteen minutes after the hour and nine o'clock. And as I said, we had a special we have a special guest on the program today. Zin um Coral Organic Organic Kitchen. And you know, without no further delay, I'm gonna introduce um Coral to the mindset program. Blessed love. Good evening. Blessed love. Pleasant good evening, Carol. Yes, good evening. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Yeah, man, it's a great, it's a great honor to have you on the program. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, Carol. Um, yeah, so tell us um little about what the I do because I I was saying earlier that um you know I see the I as 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 a nutritionist. You know what I mean? Because you know it was you know, it's funny how, how, how we come across each each other still. And, you know, this does, this does happen to happen like, like this. So, you know, tell us a little bit about um, the ICEL first and foremost, you know what I mean, before you get into, you know, the technicalities. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell you about, you know, the story behind Carol's Organic Kitchen. Mm-hmm. So yes, you're right. I am a I am a nutritionist, but I'm I am actually a qualified plant based nutritionist. Yes, so I. I support people um, who are suffering with lifestyle illnesses, common diseases that we see today, like diabetes, high blood pressure, joint pain. Some people suffering with IBS. And some other more chronic, serious illnesses. But I'm focusing at the moment really on people who are suffering with skin eczema, which is quite common. Yes. But the story behind Carol's Organic Kitchen began six years ago. I was working in the city and my daughter became quite ill and she suffered a mental breakdown from bullying. She was 11 years old at that time, and uh, the medical industry, the professionals who were treating her at the time wanted to, within within the space of a a week, want to put her on antipsychotics, to which I questioned. And uh, without no diagnosis and understanding of how this happened, I pushed for organic investigations, and that was quite a battle. And it made me realise that we don't really have the rights to organic investigations. We we do, but it's very difficult to get them because we're kind of railroaded down the medical industry to follow their recommendations. And we do that out of fear and ignorance. More out of fear. Mm, we're driven by fear and ignorance. Yeah. And um I I'd had I'd had some background in working with mental health and the NHS prior to my um, last job in the city six years ago, where ironically I worked for a U.S. pharmaceutical company. But from pushing for these um, investigations, um, I I had uh, requested a new consultant who opened up the investigations, and one of them was a lumbar puncture, which we discovered was a chemical imbalance. And uh, I questioned, well, what the, ke- the chemical was. I never got the answer. I was told that I would be contacted again. This is six years on. But I did my own research to find the chemical that hit her brain that caused the imbalance was called anti-GAD. And anti-GAD happens to be linked to, uh, um, it's a chemical found in di- that diabetes sufferers have. But although she was not diabetic, in an acute stress reaction, she produced a lot of this chemical in her body, which hit the brain and caused her to have a psychotic episode. 
So further on now, I support people, as I said, through diet and with the healing of the herbs and from natural wildcrafted herbs in nature and correcting the body's balance and veering more to an alkaline plant-based diet, we're able to correct a lot of illnesses that are going on in our bodies. And a lot more people are reaching out naturally now because the drugs will only mask the symptoms. Mm -hmm. They don't actually treat yeah. Yeah. the disease nor cure. Yes, true. True, true. Yeah, man, that's why, um, you know, you, you see people keep on going back to the doctors and, you know, they keep going back to, you know, the pharmaceutical, you know, they, they, because, you know, whatever illness they have, it's not being cured. And whatever they're getting from the pharmaceutical, you know, it's not, it's not helping, it's not helping the situation. It will help to suppress the symptoms for as long as the drug will work. But it will it will not get to the root cause to cure mm. that particular illness. You need to get to the root cause and understand what's going on and then be able to treat those individual problems. But there's kind of, you know, in, in the medical industry, you have a foot pain. So we treat the pain in the foot. But we're not understanding what caused the pain in the first place to understand how we're going to treat that to help it to go away. And the problem is we have, obviously, there are, with any kind of drug, there are um, side effects which then lead on to further problems. So you find yourself in a cycle treating one thing or another because of a side effect after a prolonged use of that drug. There's a possibility you, you would get that side effect. So what, what I do, and I have had, is people who come to me and with a particular um, medical issue, whether even as simple as losing weight, because the weight the doctors are saying could cause other problems, diabetes is, is, is something people come often, gluten intolerances, food sensitivities, and allergies are developing even later in life. And I've been at health um, fairs and wellbeing days where I've had a presence there People have come to me and spoken to me and they're in their 40s and 50s finding themselves now with these allergies, certain allergies. And I, my first stance is detoxification, cleanse the body, clear out any mucus and inflammation that's going on there, sort out any deficiencies. And that's where my nutrition comes in with the appropriate foods that's going to help the body to the towards a healing process yes i so first people have to start detoxifying and some of the things that people can you know can can use uh, you know for detoxify themselves you know because i know a lot of people out there some of them are really clued up as just you know as 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 you know we, we know because as i said age 50 40 you know, you know, if you did really clued up, you know, you, 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 you know, some of these things wouldn't be, wouldn't be taking place. So, you know, cause people now do the normal thing. People just are intake, you know, them now flush out and, you know, all of the things them mm. just keep piling up, piling up, piling up, Yeah. you know, inside the body, you know, and then mm -hmm. that probably go and affect the bloodstream, isn't it? That's right. <clears throat> and also it can then affect the organs if you have a problem with your pancreas that can cause, you know, overproduction of insulin causing diabetes. We can get calcification around the organs and then it causes that organ to not function as effectively and it brings on a health issue. And that is where when I'm saying <clears throat> when I'm saying looking at the root cause looking at where the problem started and how it's affecting the body now. But we're just treating the instant problem, so, you know, but, but, de but detox does, it, it can even start as people sometimes fear the word detox. There's not enough information out there for people to understand how to carry out 
a, a safe and healthy detox, it's not readily available. Sure. You, you need to find those people who are knowledgeable. And uh, I have very good contacts. At the moment, there's an organization called Carbon Cell Compounds. He is a Dr. Sabi follower like myself who has wild crafted herbs that are indigenous to nature. What I mean by indigenous, it comes from Mother Earth. If man ceased to exist, these herbs would still grow in nature. And they're doing amazing things alongside just eating a clean diet is the detox in itself. But I struggled when I first detoxed. A few years ago, when I first carried out my detox, I got my herbs from Sweden. And that was it, a big bag of all these dusty big herbs. I didn't, you know, and I was told that this herb was for the blood. This was for the a parasite cleanse and, and digestive cleanse. But no understanding or instruction or clear guideline. I had to work it out myself with a lot of questions going back and forth. But I've devised a whole plan which helps people to understand how to eat before they detox because you need to get the digestive system ready. The herbs that you're not going to just jump on the herbs and you're still eating the same foods. So I've devised a pre-detox plan with a detoxification plan with diet and then I've thrown in maintenance and it's all on a group where people are being supported now. That's right. Absolutely. Food can, you know, that um, food can actually alter our DNA, our DNA. We're not eating the ancestral foods that our ancient ancestors ate. And we have been given a Western diet. And now we're finding ourselves at the top end of diabetes sufferers, the Afro-Caribbean, African and Afro-Caribbean community as well as sickle cell, but diabetes, if people don't know, just to, just to touch on it briefly, there are two types of diabetes. Type one is where the um, happens when your body can't produce enough of, of the hormone insulin. Okay, that, that, and the insulin controls blood glucose. And type two is a disease where the pancreas does not make enough insulin or the body doesn't use insulin properly. So yes, food has a huge contribution to um, diabetes. And as I just touched on it, we're not eating the ancestral foods. We're eating a Western diet and that is affecting our bodies and causing the, the um, diabetes. I mean, bread is, um, a very common and uh, obvious example because especially white bread, it has more, um, some, some bread, more often it contains sugar and it's full of starch as well. It's very high in starch. There, but, that, but on saying that, let me just say this first. The, the positive thing is there are many staple foods in, Af in Caribbean and African diets that are good for your health. From leafy greens to fresh mango, green banana, there are lots of nutritional rich choices. However, fried foods and sweets are very popular, you know, in our diet and it should be limited. You know, and um, our meals are high in, in fat, salt and sugar. 
which can make it difficult to manage blood glucose. And you know, when you have diabetes, it also um, affects the way in, it makes it more difficult to control things like cholesterol, blood pressure and weight. So it, it can bring on a, a whole other lot of issues as well. So we have, we have to be so careful in what, our, you know, it's corny to say our food is our medicine, but it, it, literally, it literally is. Mm. Mm. That we would normally have yeah i mean it, you, you everybody knows you can reach for things like rice pasta white potatoes quite cheaply even certain vegetables and, and fruits you can get cheap very cheaply but these are the ones that cause a lot of starch and sugars in the body that aren't doing us any good and then like you say the foods that are out of our, that are our ancestral foods are better for our dna Things like wild rice, that's expensive. And you get that in very little portion because it's gathered. It's actually a seed, you know, it's not a grain and it's got, it has to be gathered. And it is um, a tricky process. So you don't get it in huge bulk. You know, more isn't better. <laughs> so, and, and wild rice is, is, is healthier for diabetics because it's got sufficient fiber, which helps slow the rush of glucose into the bloodstream. And in fact, if you had two or more weekly health servings of wild rice, it is linked to lower the risk of diabetes. So us as a, a people, that's a, that is an important um, tip for us to understand that. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll just touch on a couple of other things. People might wonder, well, what else? What is there if, you know, if we can't have the staples like rice and pasta and potato, because we're high on rice. We love rice with our food. We like potato with our food. And a lot of us making macaroni pie and things like that. It's not to say we have to deprive ourselves, but you have to know the ones to reach for. And things like whole wheat spelt pasta is made, is, is an ancient grain. It's an African grain and it's more diabetic friendly compared to regular pasta. The whole wheat pasta has fewer um, carb carbohydrates, it's got more fiber content, less starch, and you know it, it is better than things like the semolina, because I read the packets carefully and I actually take people around a certain whole food store that has a wide variety, alkaline foods included, and alkaline foods are foods that are not crossbred at some point of its life, the seed is natural, you know, and our pasta has things like semolina, rice and drum wheat. And those are what we want to avoid. We just want 100% spelt or 100% kamut or 100% quinoa, nothing more, nothing added, nothing less. And fruit, all fresh fruits contain vitamins and fiber, we know, but and making them a healthy part of our diet. But some fruits have more sugar content. Um, that cause diabetes to come off balance. So you have to be aware, like bananas, melons, stoned fruits, like nectarine and peach, they're high on the sugar side for diabetics. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, yeah. No. They're grown without seed. They're grafted. So there's a graft that's cut off it. They're cloned. And they don't grow from a seed. <laughs> and this is what happens to the um, mineral and vitamin content, which then becomes depleted. Now, a lot of people say to me, well, Carol, you know, you buy organic food. I go to organic markets. They might not be certified, but I know it's grown naturally. And I've been on dynamic farms. See how they grow. And I've also got firsthand experience having grown on a fruit and vegetable farm myself near the River Lee. So when people say, well, you can't trust it. I know that farm and the farm that I visited from a farmer's market where I said, can I come and visit your farm? They said, yes. And I harvested my own food and I saw how they grow the food. The, anything that's grown naturally, we can trust it's grown naturally. And it has more minerals and vitamins in our food. But what you're talking about, you know, there are a lot of things that are grown unnaturally. They haven't got what we need. Our body needs so much more. You know, and, and if you're if you can eat more organic, yes, it happens to be more expensive. And I'm not going to preach and say, oh, yeah, well, you people can afford it if they want to afford their health. But we think about how much money we're spending on other things. I've made the transition when my daughter was ill. I quit my job in the city. You know, I, I was getting paid a good salary and I was down to nothing. I was surviving on government money because I had to support my daughter. But I was eating organic. You know, I did I did manage to do it. And I what I did as well, I was growing food in the community and supporting people. You can find community groups that are growing food and they sell off the excess for next to nothing. Mm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Carol's organic kitchen has been a confusing one for many people. Even recently, I had some, a man wanted to book a table to eat. <laughs> so <laughs> Carol's organic kitchen derived from the fact when I first started out, <clears throat> I was running cooking workshops and showing people how to eat more healthy in terms of nutrition to support lifestyle illnesses. So the f I was cooking and showing demonstrations. I was putting up pictures of healthy foods and giving nutritional um, information on my posts. And then it went on really to develop to workshops on foods that heal and disease prevention. And then a lot of questions come out of that and people want help. So I started to well, this has helped this person and helped many others. So let's support you too. But everything I do has been born out of my kitchen, other than my growing. Although I do grow food in my kitchen, on my shelves, I grow my herbs, everything that you, anything you can put your hand on in the kitchen, provided you have the right ingredients, you can make your own medicine. Yeah, you know, my partner is suffering with cold flu at the moment. He's already, what within less than 24 hours he's feeling better there are simple things we can put our hands on that we can get in there so it's not just about foods it's also those foods um supplements that are there at our fingers fingertips so i was conflicted with changing the name but i said no it actually it, carol's organic kitchen is a is everything comes out of there even the natural skin care solutions I make for people with eczema skin is making ways and it's helping people and I started that from my kitchen 
to to help my daughter with her eczema and and unexpectedly it it went you know it was healed so i stick to the carol's organic kitchen and um I'm going to try and explain that in my my bio as well, why the name Carol's Organic Kitchen exists. And I told marketing the other day to re remove any reference to eating at Carol's Organic Kitchen because I actually used to host um, alkaline food dinner parties and people would come and pay per head and sit down and eat plant-based, <clears throat> what people call vegan, um, three course meal and they were blown away by the concept and the foods and the expectation of what those foods were going to be so but I'm I'm kind of removing that reference with yes come and eat now because I'm now educating and and giving people a solution to take care of the outside of their bodies as well as the inside including joint pain and I have an oil for your mother for her joint pain and it helps people that arthritic arthritic problems and sciatica too yes sir. and that's made from my kitchen i have a tree a eucalyptus tree in my garden and when i want the leaves i i scale the tree i pick the, the leaves i sterilize the leaves and i make eucalyptus oil which has been product safety approved and I, and I now sell it online widely because it's helped so many people and a lot of pressure from people to say, get this thing out there. It works. And including my eczema cream. And all of this was made in Carol's Kitchen. So Carol's Organic Kitchen is what it says on the tin. Carol's Organic Kitchen and it's there to stay. <laughs> so, you know, that's how, you know, that's how I cook food, but, you know, remedies and you know, ointments and, and, and these things for, for pain and also skin care. Mm, you can do that from your kitchen. You don't need to go to a pharmacy to find the answers. All right. This 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 other question um, I, I, I want to ask the eye because um, the eye say you're, the, the, you're used to work in the city and thing. Yeah. Um, you 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 give up all of that um true circumstances uh you know within life and thing but I get, yeah and i found a new journey you, you, the journey that you are on now you, you would you, would you give it up and and return back to where you were never because never and i tell you it was a it was a year later I had that thought after a year after I quit my job in the city, I sat there and I said to myself, the only thing I miss about that job, and I never hated it. I had a very good job. You know, I was clearing a good, good amount of money a month. I looked at one of my pay slips last night in 2008. And I said, well, I, you know, I was, I was clearing about, um, 1900 pounds a month and more and then up to the time i quit my job in the city i was clearing over two grand a month and that was the only thing i missed was the money even though i did like the job but then my <laughs> after my experience with the uh, drug industry when i say drug industry because that one of the drugs they wanted to give my daughter was the one of the drugs that i uh, we were actually sending I was booking flights for sales reps to go all over Europe to to promote. <laughs> and even the president that I was supporting, wow. she was a woman seconded from America who was who was working there and I was supporting her, said to me, I made the right choice not to give her that drug. And it was one of our drugs. That's why we were we were paid loads of money when the reps were able to peddle those drugs and get and sell them out to our pharmacies across Europe. So the the awakening has come for me, and I would never ever go back. Never, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you you you, you actually see you, you you actually see them thing there as 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 drugs because a lot a lot of people think that you know is medicine. Uh -huh. You know is 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 um you know. But 
A pharmacist going to always give you drug. It not going it not going to give you candy and 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 these type of things. Mm-hmm. And people get 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 hooked on the things them that you know they get they get from you know get from these places. But yeah. looking looking and looking on that now. Looking looking on that now and 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 where you are today. Zil, mm-hmm. Because it wasn't it wasn't the eye that was, you know, another eye around the companies are these things. The eye is just a worker there. But Yeah, it's just a worker, that's right. But when it when it when it when I look on it today, you, 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 you can you can probably see that now not in that position, you know, even the amount of money that you know you were earning, what you're doing now would would save more life. I'm working. telling you, that's what's more. <clears throat> and the thing is, to catch up to that to this day financially, I haven't done it. I'm not a rich person, and I would never exchange rich any amount of money for what I do. And supporting people is my greatest passion. And people say, "Well, why do you do it for nothing?" I get um, people who promote businesses and say, "You know, um, we can create this strategic plan for you." <clears throat> And you can monetize what you're doing. And I said, no, I, I, I do this through passion. Um, I have a job. I work as a head chef at a private nursery school where we met. Yep, yep. And it was a chance happening. And um, we talked. And that is, that is where I earn my money. And I earn my money from selling my natural skincare products. But the consultations and information that I give out to people to lead them on a journey. And, then, you know, I've helped people with um, um, control. I'm not saying I'm a healer, control things like diabetes and lupus. One woman who was on insulin, who she only uses it now because she knows what is going to spike and then she'll take it. But she was taking it every night. A woman recently with IBS who was getting cramps in the morning is a thing of the past. Her son with eczema, it's cleared, um, 60% of his body is cleared from eczema now. And this is all through sharing the information um, out there on, on diet and what is going to help this particular problem and inflammation and looking at the root cause of it and treating it with food, food, diet and herbs. For real, yes, I. And we can heal ourselves. You know, we don't need this um this vampire <laughs> system. Mm-hmm. So um, all right. And and a lot of people who have been following me and have been on my group, they now support their families. Through the same system. Through the same system because they, you know, they nobody's perfect. We all fall off the wagon and we lose our way a little bit. Festivities happen and I don't judge. And But I always say to them, you have the tools now. You know what to do. And they do. And then they start posting that they're now on their cleanse. They're having their CMOS. They're having certain um, foods from the recommended uh, guide that I give them. And they're doing, they do okay. And they're always saying, oh, you know, I told my mum or I told my sister or my auntie about this. And it worked because they have now got the understanding. And I always believe that everybody should teach someone they don't already know to benefit them, to pass it on to someone else and become advocates. True, man. Yeah, man. Pass on the knowledge, you know. Mm. Yes, that's, that, that is imperative. But um, do you find that not for not for the not for the 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 the, the remedies that um that would normally use? Do you find that they're more you know more difficult to find here in the UK? Because you know the I say when you did have it do um like you know your your, your cleanse and thing, you, um it came from from Europe. Do you find that some of the things them that would have normally used, some of the, the, the natural remedies them, 
do you find that um, um, probably, you know, the UK is limited, um, you know, the import on these, these, these natural remedies? Absolutely. I heard, I've yet to research the facts, that in the 60s, a lot of herbs were banned in the UK that we used to be able to have here that we don't have now. Why? <laughs> Why? I, I went to, um, there's a store in Ealing Broadway called Organic for the People. I worked there for a short time when the business owner needed some help because he was short on staff and he would see me coming in with groups of people and talking about food and nutrition. And he would even send his customers to me. They used to have something, uh, a bitter almond, right? Almonds are bitter in nature. But let me tell you something about the bitter almond. And most things that are bitter are the best for us. But the bitter almonds were anti-carcinogenic, which means anti-cancerous. And we get shot down when we talk about these things. But the next thing I knew, I was going in the shop looking for them to talk about them to another group of people. And I'm asking, have you got any in stock? There's nothing there. Oh, we stopped supplying. Why? We can't get them anymore. You know, when something <laughs> becomes, yeah, when something becomes common knowledge or and there people might go to their doctor and say, oh, so... What's happened? Oh, well, I've been taking these. As soon as you tell the doctor what's happening, of course, that gets passed around. And, and in my theory, I believe these things, the powers that be, stop it. And there was a Russian lady in the store, an old woman. She overheard me talking to someone who I brought into the shop. And she came to me whispering and said how she had to flee because she was nearly killed, her and some other scientists who had discovered the cure for cancer. Seriously? And, yeah, and she was telling me in hushed tones about what was happening, and she, her husband helped her, and her fled and came to England. It, no, it wasn't the cancer, it was uh, HIV, which she said to me, well, you know, it's it didn't start in Africa. I said, I know. And they found a cure to it, her and her scientists um, network, and they were targeted. And she had to come to the UK, fleeing for her life. Uh, them killed Dr. Swaby, and them did even bring him go to court. Mm. And proven with all of these... Um, the facts where people had actually willingly, voluntarily came in, isn't it, and brought in their papers to say, in fact, diabetes was reversed, HIV and cancer, a man who suffered blindness from diabetes of 15 years, a boy with autism, all of it was proven. But there are a lot of them that are have uh, stumbled across things, and then the next thing we hear, that you know, they're gone. But there are a lot of herbs, as you say. There are herbs, yes, that are not easily obtainable. But we can get some of them and just enough of them that we need. Like things like blue vervain. Have you heard of that? Yeah, mum. You get that in Jamaica. That's good for the, so good for the nervous system. You can feel it working in your body, these herbs. I can tell you that for sure. So really, really and truly, you know, we have, um, I think we have about 10 more minutes leave on the program. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, it seems like is 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 a design, is a, is a plot now to like, you know, the things that will help um, African people. Zane, because I know a lot of African people is listening to me on the program today and a lot of other people as well. But mm -hmm. it looks like it's a design um, thing that once you once you stop these natural remedies that the Af Africans then would use, and they start to use the things them that go on to affect them, automatically they will die out quick. It's like putting um, you know, uh, petrol in a diesel tank. True. 
You know, say you're not going to reach nowhere no far. Mm. And it's going to malfunction. Hmm. We have to under, We have to start to... Yeah, listen, the war I then, it look like the war. That mm-hmm. is like, is, 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 is a war on different levels, on, on a food level. You know, because, the, you know, it, 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 it looks like that it's a food war. It looks like it's a, it is a, it looks like it's a, definitely a food war. I, I, I'm so entrenched in this business and my journey and what I've learned and my eyes have opened and it opens up a whole holistic approach in terms of meditation, understanding your spiritual self and who you are. I came from a Christian background and I am here where I am. I left that behind. It, it opens, when you start to eat right, it's like everything opens and you you see a clearing but i don't know how easy that is for other people mine came through harrowing circumstances because of my daughter's ill health so i don't know how other people are getting i don't know how free, how readily available this is, what we're talking about here is good because people are hearing this now they might go off and le- learn and research other things about the african diet and go to dr sebi and learn more but um, I, I mean, I have a group on Facebook, but I have to be very careful what I say, you know, because you can be shut down. <laughs> yeah, anything where I speak the truth, you know, anything, anything that is not fake news. Yeah. This is it. I scheduled a lot of posts. Let me tell you tonight, up until the 10th of February on my group. I can't find those scheduled posts now. I'm going to Facebook to find answers as to what's happened. And it's like when people have started to post up, oh, this is clearing up. This is happening to me now. I I can't believe within two weeks this has happened and they're showing pictures. And all of a sudden, all the information that I scheduled for them, I can't find it. So, I mean, I'm thinking, has it all been deleted and by who? Hmm. A serious thing, you know. It's very serious. I'm. I think I was saying to my partners today, um, we need to find our our own platforms. That is the reality. To educate one another, I'm telling you. That is the reality, because you know we 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 we, we you know we are bridged from somebody else thing, you know, and you know all all the data is being collected. You know, all the information <laughs> is being collected. Even my reference to Blue Vervain, let me tell you. I put a post up about Blue Vervain and mentioned carbon cell compounds. Because somebody asked a question about um, pain. And Facebook sent in a message and flagged it up. This is um, not, uh, what is it, um, approved content. simple thing like that where you can just ref- it's a herb it's not a drug and you can get it from here is all i was saying and it and it could support i wasn't saying confirmation it will and it and I, it got flagged up so we have to find our way of uh, um, educating our people and spreading it fast i i give thanks for dr sebi for doing that because it brought me in this direction and I'm sharing it with people, but I need to find a platform to share it so people can get access to it without it being um, flagged you know, up, dragged up and flagged up and edited or we have to suppress of what we say and how we say it. Yeah. Yeah, that's serious. It's a serious um, world we live in today that, you know, we have to be careful of everything that we do, you know. <laughs> is that, you know, it's just, yeah, it's exactly. like we're in a prison, we're in an open a, prison, you know? It is. Even this <laughs> conversation we're having here, it could be a year later or years later and somebody will pick it up and they will use it against me. Ah, uh, serious. It's a serious thing, I <laughs> Rasta. No. Yeah, yeah, we have to be careful of what we are saying, I say. The fact that a lot of people, like Dr. Sebi proved, the proof is in the pudding, like a lot of Dr. Sebi's 
evidence of what he did and he left a legacy. So a lot of us are carrying on that legacy and sharing that information with others and the proof is in the results, but we don't have medical facts. You understand? So them say, but you know, it's good enough from it to work, it to do what it's supposed to do. That that yeah. that that is factual. You know what I mean? That is you not see it. Of fiction. Course you see it. You know, you but that allows us to that allows them to shut us down because they're saying, you know, you're not giving fact, you're not giving medic it's not proven in medical science. So they're allowed to quell us. Yes, I. Yeah, man. We shall get there, man. As as they I say, we need our own platforms. Well, you, you keep know, doing so. what you're doing because being on this platform is an. I, I never realized that mindset existed until I met you. So you're you're carrying good messages out there. Yes, I give thanks. Yes, I give thanks. Yeah, man. We have to do it, you know, because um, it it is needed. You know what I mean and. Everyone have to hold them office, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're all in your office as a nutritionist and, you know, we give thanks to the job, the work that you're doing also, you know what I mean? in you know, edifying us out here so, you know, we can, you know, diet properly and, you know, live longer. <laughs> yeah. This is it. Yeah, that's what, that's what we want to do. Live longer and healthier. Yes, I. Um, before you go, what, where, where, where can the people find you? Um, or they can contact you and thing. You know, they want to get your product and 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 so on. Yeah, sure. They can. They can go to um, carolsorganickitchen.com, where you'll find all my media handles. I have a um, Instagram TV, so I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. And I'm on Twitter as Carol's Organic Kitchen. Yes, I. And you know, it's it's a great honor for um, you know, for have the hype on the program for you know, share share the knowledge that uh, you know that the I attain. You know, it's um, it's it's a joy, yeah, man. Thank real you. joy, real joy. It's a real Thank small you. earth, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm real you, small you earth. The chance happening. We had, and you were lucky to get me that day, because I was off. I was off the rest of the week, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does John make it work that way there? <laughs> so let's see, I know. Right. Yes, I. Yeah. So all right, my sister, you know, you know, thank you again for taking the time. It's a great honor, as myself, uh, you know, for have the hype on the program, and you know, just continue doing what you're doing, and thank you know. You. Keep being productive. Keep being productive. You know what I mean? Yes, I. Keep being productive. So Thank more you. love, more strength, and yeah, continue upon the journey. Yep, and to you too. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Yes, my sister. Great Anna. Great Anna. Yes, mindset program. You know, say this right there, and check me out again there. But they are next Monday, 7 till 10. We are on the flame in Monday, and you don't know. The whole place is going to burn up, you know. Zane, so more love, more strength. Blessed love, manners and respect, give thanks and praise for life. This video is for a just cause and I would love the item strength and support. We have some t-shirt online, the mindset t-shirt that the item can go out there and purchase. Basically this t-shirt is in aid of um, the Cape Coast School for Deaf and Blind Youth in Ghana. There is no drinkable water that I can see on the school grounds and the ones them who are blind have to travel a little distance outside of the school ground to get the water. Now we want to bring the water inside the school ground in the bathroom where it's supposed to be. So when you purchase a t-shirt, all these proceedings go to 
um, facilitating for drinkable water in the bathroom so they don't have to travel out so we want your strength and support we're gonna drop the link and the video please follow the link purchase a t-shirt it's going towards a just cause blessed love look for the item strength and support